Hi everyone, sorry it took me so long to post a new video. Here is my latest video on how to do cake toppers. This is for a Princess Aurora cake topper with shaker. You can recreate this topper with any Disney princess you want. Uh, hope you'll find this video interesting and learn how to do a cake topper on your own. Enjoy! So here is the design of the cake topper that I did on the Cricut Design Space. And take note that I am also using an iPad in designing this one so there's no offset feature. So if you're wondering where I created the offset for the name and the, num for and the number, I use a third-party app which is called Fonto App. I also have a tutorial for that one. I will provide it on the description below. As you can see, I use four layers for the name and I think three layers for the number and I use my favorite font for the name which is October Twilight so I just found it out from the font.com next is the flower which I think I bought this off from Etsy so it's already um, SVG when I buy it and yeah it has three layers as you can see So I have here also the Princess Aurora. This one came only from Google. I just searched over Google Princess Aurora PNG so that I don't have to clean it up in design space. And there are lots of photos that uh, pop, pop out in Google once I search Princess Aurora. So the Princess Aurora character is a print and cut. Then I just put one layer on it so that it will stand out on the cake topper. And now let's go to the circle. So we have three uh, layers for the circles this will be used to be to cover the foam board part of your shaker next is the photo of the main background that we will be using on our cake topper so i just got it from google as well i just type i think um princess aurora disney background something like that and yeah you can find a lot of it from google and the whole pink circle will be used as the base of our cake topper. We need to put another circle which is the same size of the hollow pink one. This will be used for the acetate or the transparency which will be covering the whole part of the shaker. On this cake topper, I manually cut the foam board that I use for the shaker part. So the template that I use is the hollow pink one so um you can cut that twice on your cricut or on your with your machine and then just use the other one as a template or if you are just using a craft foam you can cut the craft foam with your cricut machine and instead of doing it manually that's it on how to design cake topper on cricut design space and it is pretty easy as as long as you are doing it a lot of times so my advice is to keep on practicing on designing in design space or whatever platform you have and you will get the hang of it and most especially just play with your creativity and you will you will be able to to come up with the design that you really wanted so if you have any questions just comment on the on this video and i will try to answer all your queries afterwards and if you haven't liked and subscribe on the channel yet please do so please hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when i upload new videos thank you the next part of this video is the actual assembly assembly process so you will see there all the materials tools and equipments that i use in order to complete the cake topper so keep watching thank you